Good kitten internet. Turns out if you t turn off this headset while RetroArch is running, it crashes, crashes RetroArch. No data loss or anything. Just, you know, just means I have to reload instead of unpausing. Yes, yeah, it's soon. So, uh, actually, before we start, um, hold on, let me pause this. Nope, you're not getting away without showing your face because you're meowing. So I just got back from having dinner, and by got back, I mean got back to recording. It's not like I went anywhere. Ooh, I have a kitty cam opportunity. Let's go ahead and enable kitty cam. There's the ASIN. Yes. Yes, kitten, yes. Go off my messy table while you're at it. Um, he's just going to show up on both cameras. It's fine. So I wanted to ask, what have you been eating, late, eating lately? Um, so I had leftovers from the meal that I made yesterday, which is fat. Or fat. I always forget that it's mirror imaged. Um, that is a, it's a cheese tortellini, um, parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, um, my mother's marinara sauce that I've customized a little bit and in this case had to tweak because I ran out of onions. I had to use onion powder. Uh, oh well. Um, but also added in a pound of ground beef because I wanted to make sure that there was protein in the meal and I had ground beef defrosted and needed to use it. So mine didn't look quite that pretty, mostly because... Well, I was having leftovers, and that was the picture that I took shortly after cooking. That's more like what it looked like cooking, and also generally what it looked like when it was leftovers. Anyway, um, just was curious. He seems always curious. And unfortunately, I'm, so the main thing about it was that I did it as a single pot. So I've been trying to make things... Nope, looks like he's gone now. I've been trying to make things where... Oops. Thank you. That was my brother that you saved out on the Suske Plains. So they're actually willing to talk to me now. Even that's a little glitched. Cool. Um, yeah, I was just curious. And I did it in a single pot because I'm trying to find lazier ways of cooking. So it doesn't take me as much effort. And this was basically dump everything into an instant pot level, which is what I want. I had to burn ground beef ahead of time which I did in the Instant Pot, but still. Oh, we threw away our entire culture. We can't just live like animals again. Also, is that person shifted over to the left by any chance? Life like that couldn't be lived to its fullest after all. That's an awkward sentence to state out loud. You might tremble at the mercy of Mother Nature, be afraid of monsters prowling around. But it's still better than the world then if the world gets destroyed by the power of civilization we created with our own hands. And again, a really awkward run-on sentence. Ooh, yes, we just want to live our lives in peace. If you'll keep our village a secret, I'll give you a tip. In the dragon's lair, search the center of the smallest lava lake. What you find will be of great use to you. This is the lake that I have to have a flyer on. Not the one that was poisoned, but the lava one. I don't think the shop changes, but I'm going to quickly double check. Also, I need to replace some things. Yeah, shop doesn't change, but I need to buy some stuff. Honestly, the magic stone dash. Problem solved. There we go. We still have gobs of money. We are not even close to Lepore. And the reason being is that we haven't lost anybody. The game is set up where you easily have enough money to buy everything that you're ever going to want in the game as long as nobody dies. Oh, time to leave. We are going to Scorching's Cave. That... I'm pretty sure these are new translations. 
because this isn't Scorching Scave. Now that one's Aemon. And what's the other one that I keep seeing? Oh. The fire dragon's in the back! Be careful! Deep. Welp, that's all the plot you get. Oh. So, our victory condition is the death of Salamander, specifically. So, there's a couple of things that we need. First off, center of the smallest uh, lava pool is definitely not here or here. Yep, this is the smallest one. So in the center here is where our item objective is. In addition, there's a chest here. What's in this chest? That's a good question. Let's find out. Um, in the chest is... Ooh, a nice spear. I can use that. So in order to get that, we're going to have to push this box over to here and then just start pushing boxes away. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how we do it. But we should look at our main objective, which is Salamander over here, who's level 26. A flyer has no abilities beyond being beefy. We're, we are going to have to watch out, though, because we don't want to accidentally win. And that sounds weird, but that's actually viable to happen on this level. I like the music, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Mm. Oh, I want to do this. So they actually have good pairings on that side. This side, not as much. As long as I don't use a flyer over here, it's fine. This side, I've got somebody weak against flyers and a flyer themselves. So I need to be a little careful. The acid Ghost can't hit me right now. And I am going to need it to at least move Darius out of the way because that egg can totally take out Darius. Well, not take out. What level are these enemies? 23s? <coughs> Other than big old chompers back there, of course. Okay, everybody else is 23. We can deal with that. Mega Salamander. Okay. I know I'm going to get counterattacked, but that's fine. Just need to soften them up. Speaking of softening up, I don't actually need to go that far. I'm just gonna roaming, uh, roaming fire, not rolling fire. Hmm, I can actually go back further. But can you even do it from here? No, I need to get too closer. Okay. Go soften up the rest of them. Fire in a fire cave, who would have thought? If only I can get here with my ninja, that would be awesome. But not happening. So one thing about this battle is that it is relatively crowded, which is not great for us.
Dang it. Bonk. Well, gives something the healers to do. Or gives the healers something to do. Words are hard. Circles probably enough, I think. Yep. Six whole XP. Oh boy. All right. Rest of you goobers. Because I could go here and attack the gold golem, but one, paint problem, and two, I'm gonna get biffed by that egg worm. What is it, Isin? I have a half an hour before you get fed. Why are you getting hungry so easily? Uh, on the other hand, this is not a terrible spot to go. Except that they blocked. Ow. Okay, that wasn't so great. better if I had, you know, not gotten hit. Well, at least I leveled up. Okay. Um, well, I'm definitely going to need to go over there, but I kind of don't want to do that with the current... Oh, that's the problem. I need flyers to go over there. I mean, this is the key item. I can grab that next turn if I really wanted to. It would be really dumb of me to do that, but I could. Um. Yeah, let's just finish you off. Honk. He seems been getting hungrier lately, and I'm not sure why. You're not going to die, but, you know. Neither am I. Uh, what? Let's go ahead and spellbind you. Yeah, spellbind. Plus, for the goobers over there. Bring them back up a little bit. Especially Eamon, who might get stabbed in the back. There we go. Get some more XP. Think that's everybody? Yep. Alright, next turn! Let's see. How many people have we woken up? Eggworm's going after Kira, which is kind of what I expected to have happen. Although, missed. Bump. Stab. Skeleton can't do anything. Worm. Oh, you actually can walk across there. Well, that's fine. If I would have known, I wouldn't have put Ash where I did. On the plus side, there's a paralyzed skeleton in front of him, so it's not like they're going to be able to do anything else. And none of those goobers appear to be woken up, which is good, because I don't want them to wake up. I want to deal with this stuff over on that side first. Meow. Meow. Ah, no, I cannot walk across. That is the point where I can't cross. And I, can you deal with them? I am soon. Oh, 
you can't quite see him, so I don't think you're gonna see him very well with kitty cam either. Yeah, you got a cat butt. Um, let's first make sure I'm not doing something really dumb. That would be kind of dumb. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach this far back. Reach with a Roman fire. I mean, it's better than nothing, but kind of hoping for an avalanche. Yeah, I need to get slightly closer. I need to get too closer, it looks like. So I don't even think this spot will work. Oh, it does. Stupid drain. It's worth it. Go for it. You know, I can take a hit. Like, one. Mega bong! Oops. So I figured out how I was triggering that before I was hitting the analog stick. Oh. I guess he's not on kitty cam right now, so. Well, I should have grabbed more to drink before starting this video. Oh well. I have exhausted my water supply over here because, well, reasons like eating food. Anyway, um... How do I want to do this? Where can you even go? Okay, so don't go any further than Amon. Got it. Also, I should probably save. Isun is standing in my lap, as you can tell from this thing sitting here. And he hasn't decided where he's comfortable. Probably because I'm a little scooted into my desk compared to normal. And because he mostly just wants my attention. Um. Boot back slightly so he has more space to curl up. That'll do. is going to want some healing. He's going to get hit again twice. Actually, I think I am just going to attack with Ash. There, now he's settled up into my lap. Mostly in my lap, partially up against the desk. Whatever, cat. Okay, I need to make a hole. I love how they know exactly what range to stand at where I can't counterattack them, but I don't. I'm gonna get counterattack back. Or not. Well, now I don't really need to make a hole so much. I just need to get rid of these goopers. Bonk. Boom. Good job on the level. Here you go. Now we've got that skelly bro. No, if I just stand here and healing circle, I will heal all three people who are injured. That is totally worth doing. Well, other than Ash, but I was gonna heal Ash from this range anyway. Oh, right, she got, she dodged, I forgot. I know she got attacked. means better. I'm gonna actually have Nolan standing there for reference. Oh, that was not actually a very good heal. Oh well. 
Um, Clint can probably just stay there. Grog, I'm actually gonna have him stay there as well. You're all gonna start facing the correct direction. Yep. So the reason why I'm keeping them there is that I'm intentionally slowing down the game. And I just want the skeleton to come down and counterattack me from here. Because that wasn't gonna end well for him. And Grog levels up. Hooray! Time to bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. No, Lysun, you should stay there. You're being cute. Yep, Ash is going to get hit twice with more eggs. Yep. That's who I was expecting to get hit. Amen levels up. Eamon's 24 now. Yes, lay back down. You're going to try to attack Ash again. Successfully. I did not heal up like last I should have. I will this turn, though. Although it's probably going to be fairly irrelevant. All right. Really? Are you kidding me? That was even a side attack. How dare you? And I can't kill you with Eel and I. Because Eel and I does 75 damage with Avalanche. That would be at one. First of all, how dare you? Need to avalanche the other one, because otherwise I can't one-shot it. Or that one-shots. Okay. Does that help me at all? Not really. I did that one-shot and not one-shot the egg worm. They should have the same damage. Big drop. Okay. Fine. Whatever game. Heal and I levels up as well. Either of you have any new spells? You have the salamander spell! You can summon the thing that's inside of this room! Hooray! <coughs> You're not normally supposed to be able to get that at this point of the game, I think. Oh, Zohar doesn't have Salamander. Oh, that's not good. Salamander is one of my favorite spells. Hmm. Okay, before I do that, I am saving because I forgot to save at the start of this round. And it's time for more Sokoban. Bum, bum, bum. Ultra heal. Wait, wait, I don't need to ultra heal. I can have Ash heal himself. What the hell is that? I've never seen this spell. Ever. Plus 4 MP, that's super cheap too. Eagle's attack, what the hell? I've recently saved. Let's go for it. Um, this is definitely a new spell in the Saturn version. <laughs> what the heck was that? I mean, don't get me wrong. It gives him long range option. I'm all for it. But, um, what? Ash 
Now he's healed back up. Again, I'm not trying to encroach yet because I want to deal with the Sokoban stuff first. Three, twenty-four, twenty-four. Diego can just go ahead and start moving up. I'll have Kira try to finish off the Skelly Bro. Are you dead yet? Yes. Still trying to figure out how skeletons bleed like that, but sure. There we go. Kira is now twenty-four. Drug, go ahead and move along. Sarah, you can also move along. Uh. Wait, why is the graphic messed up on the boxes now? Also, I was not expecting them to be able to do that. That could be a problem. Welp. Guess I woke them up. Let me guess, Salamander's also awake? No, Salamander's not awake. Okay, this is fine. Saving. Got the spear. Dragoon Pike. It was Dragon Pike. Or it's D Pike. Or no, D Spear. Okay. That's a large cluster of enemies all close by each other. Shame if I weren't, you know, Eel and I and have a new spell that will hit a very large area of effect. So, for reference, Phase Shift is Field 12, Salamander's Field 10. Or sorry, um, phase shift is not field 12. Phase shift is field 7. Salamander's field 10. Look at that area. Isn't it glorious? Yes. Yes, it is. This is the spell that Eel and I will use from now on instead of phase shift. And I am hitting everything that oh, I'm missing one of the golems unfortunately it doesn't do that much damage I think like, avalanche does more damage but still I hit two golems I gained 45 XP without killing anything I think that's pretty darn good if I do say so myself I mean just look at how bad phase shift is by comparison I'm only hitting three enemies I mean it's still worth doing but I'm only hitting three enemies Actually, that might not be worth doing. Roman fire might actually hit more. No, I can't quite reach. Never mind. We are phase shifting. We're sh phase shifting, everyone. Phase shift. Only hitting three, but that's okay. Oh, I could have just Roman fired at three. Derp. Oh well. Cleared out two of them. That's fine. Can I tell where you're going to move next turn? Oh, you can't quite reach. What is your movement? Okay, even if I encroach, it'll be fine. I just want that person gone. Because that would be a hazard. Ooh, 54 XP, nice. Yeah, you're one of the lower level ones. So are you. Uh, how injured are you? Ooh, that's not very injured. And I can't arrow you either. 
only one I can hit is that gold golem. Which I don't think I do enough damage. Nope, not quite. Close, but not quite. think I can. No. The high peak in the middle is definitely blocking. Hmm, actually, if I move you first... Ooh, I have Supreme's healing! Note the range in area of effect. It is everything. Of course, it costs 30 MP. 30 is a lot. Not much of a reason to cast it unless if I'm desperate. I can hit you with a holy lightning. I can. That would actually help. I'd like to have fewer flyers, please. It's not going to do that much damage, it's more the fact that they're now in one-shot range, I think. Ooh, maybe not. That might not be a great idea. I'm going to go ahead and in battle save. Let's see how bad of an idea this is. Very bad idea. Okay, at least it didn't do anything after all. They're flyers. It's irrelevant. I felt a mirage enough. I mean, I've saved. Let's find out. We also haven't seen Delta Mirage yet. This is normally Ash's ultimate spell. That's a. Is that actually the same area? Effect? I can't remember. That is enough damage. Okay. And Kira can move up as far as she can. We only have one flyer to deal with now outside of Salamander. That makes me feel a little better. And we're going to stand there with Grog. Okay, that's fine. I've got height and I'm facing... Yeah, it's only 50 damage. Pretty sure even if a flyer flew around and hit Clint on the back, I'd still be alive. Which is exactly what's happening. Yep, I'm right. And nobody else can even hit Clint, so that's fine. Old Golem is going to stand there and look pretty, and Salamander's awake. Okay. can't reach the center this turn. I'm pretty sure that this is the center. Okay, I need to keep the salamander alive for a turn. God, I saved over internal last turn. Well, first off, you might as well. Oh, wait, you're injured. I need to think about this. Okay. Let's double check to make sure that the center of the pond isn't here. It's not. Just need to check. It's the next one over. So I need to move Darius at least one square closer or Eamon once up to here. I mean, I might as well move Eamon up to here anyway. Because that's actually a good range of healing for Sarah. They're both 25. I should really use other people. Sarah's my lowest level healer. I can't speak. Lowest level healer. 
Well. Uh, actually. Kira, can you reach that? Not especially, but that's fine. This is probably a perfectly prominent spot. Die. Die. So, Salamander will live as long as I don't attack him this turn. No matter what. level 23? No, we're just 24 and 25. Okay. That's not so bad then. Um, I kind of want Sarah there. I'm trying to position him where his back is not in a dumb spot. And this works. Ah, uh, Mystic Shield yourself. You are squishy. Although not very. I'd rather not have the Salamander attack you. How about that? Now, you're going to Healing Wave. We are moving you down into wave territory. Wrong. You are moving up into wave, or out of wave territory. Facing that way. Sarah. Now you're going to healing wave. Which will heal three injured or four injured? I don't remember now. Three injured. and fully heal them. It's so exciting to see spells I've never seen before. What the hell is with those eagles? 53 XP. Dang. Good job, Sarah. You deserve those mad XP hops. Let's get our mages in closer. Are you... Go bind range? No. I didn't think so. Alright, who are you going to attack? Eamon. Or Ash. I am predicting Salamander is going to go here and attack Ash. Otherwise all the way around here to attack Eamon. There's not really anybody else for the Salamander to attack. And find out. It is Eamon. Interesting. I mean, it hurts like hell, but... That's fine. Um... Double-checking. Yes, that is the only thing left in here. So let's go ahead and... Save. This is internal RAM. You reach here. We got the key. Logos key. Uh, you know what? Heal yourself, because I'm pretty sure Salamander's dying this turn. Gives you some XP. All right. This is the Earth. It's a very nice Earth, isn't it? 
bonk! Roar! I could have gotten so much more XP. Well. You got 56 XP! Kira leveled up again. Kira is now level 25. You found Dragon Fang. That's Worm Fang and um, Vanilla Vandal Hearts. Blump, 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 blump. Oh, sorry. Did not mean to poke you, Isin. I poked him with my toe. Because he was under the, ca the desk and my feet are up on top of myself over. That's it. There is no other plot for this video. So we're going to go ahead and save it here. And I'm going to swap kitties and make sure that they're properly fed. Hope you've enjoyed this internet. And I know that I have. I'll see you next time. Bye.